We haven't seen scenes like this since the height of the pandemic. But this was the country that had a zero COVID policy and no real plan on how to exit it. Now its people are paying the price. Doctors overloaded, infected staff forced to keep working and patients struggling to access the short supply of drugs. You know, the, the hospital is just overwhelmed from top to bottom. So, you know, the, the ER filled up with people. A lot of them got admitted to the hospital. They're not getting better in a day or two, so there's no flow. Um, so they're stuck in the ER. Figures are hard to come by even as the body bags mount. Statistics from China show there's been no COVID deaths reported in the last six days. Scenes from funeral parlors raise doubts. Here, a large frustrated crowd gathers outside one in eastern Shandong province. Once inside, you can hear the anger. As for the number of infections, who knows? China just stopped counting. Last week, the World Health Organization warned the country may be struggling to keep a tally. Today, it was back on the daily commute as residents learn to live with COVID. China is the last major country to move towards treating COVID as endemic, lifting lockdowns and most restrictions on daily life. Restrictions many residents were fed up of. So much so, last month, rare protests broke out in several cities. But health experts are pointing to three reasons China has found itself in trouble. A failure to vaccinate the elderly, communicate an exit strategy to the public, as well as too much focus on eliminating the virus. And China did not spend a lot of effort on, uh, on vaccination of older people. Uh, instead, they spend too much effort on PCR. So a lot of observers already point out that uh, the cost of PCR almost equal to um, the cost of vaccination. If China's big cities are struggling, there are more concerns about its less affluent and rural areas. Next month, hundreds of millions of rural migrant workers will head home for the Lunar New Year, many taking the virus with them.